The state of Alaska covers almost 1.5 million square kilometers. When superimposed over the contiguous 48 states, the extent of Alaska marine and mainland environments ranges from San Francisco along the Mexico border to Jacksonville, Florida, and north to the Canadian border. Within this region, the physical geography varies from marine to broad river valleys to North America's highest peak. With temperatures that range between 80 below zero to 100 above zero, the challenges of modeling and studying the weather are immense. In this large expanse of boreal forest, tundra, permafrost, glaciers, temperate rainforests, and more shoreline than that of the entire contiguous 48 states, population is sparse and weather observations are in short supply. Yet numerous activities throughout the region are dependent on accurate and timely forecasts of the extreme and highly variable weather. Weather and climate researchers at the University of Alaska have a long history of working together collaboratively and with the weather operations entities in the region support the paradigm that research drives operations and operations drives research. Since 2005, the Arctic Region Supercomputing Center, or ARSC, has shared and gained expertise in the production of real-time numerical weather forecasts and uses well over 2 million CPU hours per year on its supercomputers. Products and expertise from this initiative have spurred the use of the Weather Research and Forecasting Model, or WARF, in a number of research groups and operational entities in Alaska. ARSC has conducted weather modeling tutorials for students, faculty, and National Weather Service personnel, has provided substantial funding to apply WARF to areas of interest in Alaska, and has supported millions of computer hours for these activities. To model the weather, we place a grid over the region of interest and then each grid cell solve the complex equations of atmospheric dynamics. We start with a set of initial conditions representing the starting temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind in each grid cell. To compute the weather several minutes into the future, each grid cell uses the current weather in neighboring grid cells to predict the future weather. After every grid cell has done this, we have a new set of starting conditions which are then used to predict the weather for a few more minutes into the future. Through this process of time stepping, we produce forecasts hours or days into the future in a short amount of time. Although the use of large grid cells means that the computer has less work to do and can produce a forecast in a short period of time, it's impossible to get an accurate forecast. In the graphic on the left, a single value would be used to represent the elevation in the region around Mount McKinley, leading to extreme smoothing of the terrain. By using much smaller grid cells, we can more effectively capture the small-scale features of the terrain and atmospheric processes, but this means that the computer has much more work to do, and it's more difficult to produce a forecast before the weather actually happens. To illustrate the importance of fine model resolution, let's look at the complex topography in the Fairbanks area. With grid cells 27 kilometers across, the model terrain doesn't look very much like the Fairbanks area. At 9 kilometer resolution, we can begin to discern the Tananoff Flats, the hills to the north, and a hint of Esther Dome. At 3 kilometer resolution, our topography begins to look more and more like Fairbanks, and at 1 kilometer resolution, major small scale features are captured in the model terrain. However, High resolution comes at a substantial cost. If we consider the Fairbanks terrain and decide to refine the model resolution from 9 kilometers to 1 kilometer so that we can capture many of the small scale features of the terrain and atmosphere. In this case, a forecast that might have taken one hour at 9 kilometers will take about a month at 1 kilometer. This is where the Arctic Region Supercomputing Center comes in. ARSC supports academic and military supercomputing systems that make it possible to run the weather models on hundreds to thousands of processors simultaneously, producing forecasts in a few hours that would take weeks or more on a single processor. With these supercomputers, ARSC runs a wide range of real-time forecasts using well over 2 million hours of computer time per year. Twice a day, ARSC runs an experimental 16-day forecast for the Alaska region. This forecast, using 20-kilometer grid spacing, provides high-resolution forecast guidance for sea ice outlook produced by the Floating Ice Group at the Geophysical Institute, 
which was used to accurately predict the 2009 and 2010 breakup of landfast ice at Barrow two weeks in advance. The ability to run Alaska-centric weather models allows ARSC to service specific requests for custom products. For example, when requested by the United States Army and the National Weather Service to create high-resolution forecasts for the Mount McKinley climbing season, ARSC was able to rapidly deploy a model and make the forecasts available to interested groups. Through its weather modeling efforts, ARSC is able to support the Alaska aviation community through unique products like route-specific icing forecasts. When volcanoes erupt, as they frequently do, ARSC is able to produce high-resolution wind forecasts used by the Alaska Volcano Observatory to predict the dispersion of volcanic ash. In-house expertise and computing resources allows ARSC to respond rapidly to such incidents and support critical decision-making. University of Alaska researchers are working with ARSC to produce high-resolution, localized forecasts under conditions of deep inversions for air quality forecasts. Additionally, daily forecasts during the summer are used to predict the dispersion of wildfire smoke emanating from the numerous fires over the region. This work, led by Martin Stufer, enjoys collaboration from wharf and air quality experts around the world. A planned extension of this work is the inclusion of volcanic ash. Since 2005, ARSC has been actively working to create accurate, state-of-the-art numerical weather forecasts for numerous scenarios and customers. With a wide range of models for various purposes, ARSC continues to forge ahead in the creation of weather products to aid in the decision-making processes influenced by weather. Visit us on the web at weather.arsc.edu or you can view forecasts on your iPhone at weather.arsk.edu slash iPhone.